What's going on guys? This is TM25MD and I have another duels live for you guys today. Today we'll be finishing off the um, the use of the new generals with Shaddai. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of this um, this general simply because of what style or what kind of decks she's like designed for, which is usually like um, uh, either Arcanist or or just a mantra list, and I'm not a big fan of mantra um, simply because there are too many scenarios where you just want to have that extra turn, and you'll just and you'll kill your opponent the next turn. But um, and especially if that's a mantra play and you're low on health, um, and you can't adequately remove all of the minions that your opponent plays, um, and they decide to go balls in deep and um, like get get you low enough so they can kill you the following turn regardless so you banking on the fact that you can't have a big mantra play especially even if you haven't played many adjudicators um that's why I, i'm not a big fan of of uh shaddai in that fact or or mantra in general it, it just it promotes an uninteractive game, style of play that i'm not particularly fond of um but um, so I decided to try and feature, I tried an aggro variant, not a big fan of aggro, uh, it just wasn't, well I like aggro Songhai, it's just I don't think it's that strong with Shaddai, it's much better with um, with Reva because she does have access to the Heartseekers um, and just the fact that she can simply just throw a killing edge on them and they're just infinitely more, that much more scary, right? But um, I did decide to showcase a, a style that is Kind of oriented towards her a little bit more. Um, that is Arcanist, and this is my take on it. It's to be three juxtapositions, three Blood Rage Mass. Blood Rage Mass is this is like a more of an aggressive Arcanist build. Um, so three Blood Rage Mass goes well with Jedi's Blood Blood spell. You effectively have like two spells that you can cast in combination with this. Three Kataris, three Chakris, and three Scroll Bandits to um, roll out our early game. Three Mist Dragon Seals. Um, three Phoenix Fires, you know, pretty much staple um, uh, Songhai cards, right? Uh, two Killing Edge, um, since this is a little bit more spell oriented, I, I don't feel like I needed a third Killing Edge. I felt like the deck would suffice with only two. Uh, three Lantern Fox um, to keep our Phoenix Fires going. Two Onyx Bear Seal for a little bit of removal. Four Winds. Um, Pretty strong with Shaddai's Bloodborne spell, and if we can get some uh, cheap spells out with it, like Juxta and uh, this Dragon Seal, we're in a good spot. Um, yeah, uh, and then to round off like the the core of the Arcanist, you have the Staples three, three Albi Sage, and three uh, Trinity Wings. Uh, one killing for some a little bit of burst potential. I don't think we really need it, but I would like to have it in the deck. One Spiral for Spirit uh, for Finisher. Um, and one Heaven's Eclipse uh, for some draw, for some uh, precise draw, some selective draw. So pretty much we'll be getting, um, you know, Jux, uh, uh, Killing Edge, Mr. Dragon, um, Onyx Bear. And that's pretty much it, or even Spiral. So the, the, the cards we'll pull are rather limited, so that's why I didn't want to add in cards like Atatsu. Um, though that is a consideration, so maybe I could make room for, uh, for Katatsu, but I didn't want cards like Kobe Strike. Um, uh, and uh, and Twin Strike. Um, I, I wanted to look for relatively cheap um, cards, so that's why I opted uh, just only adding one copy. Um, so yeah, let's take that on the ladder, see how we do. It is the start of a new season, so we are in, uh, we're not in silver anymore. I decided to ladder a couple games to show you some gold ranked play um, to start off the new season. So we'll play Lionar. If it's Temple Lionar, we can be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, but let's see. All right, so I don't think we need kindling. I don't think that's something we need at this point in time. Nor do we need um, <clears throat> having to clips if we have a uh, lantern box in hand. Another lantern box, so that's an easy thing to throw back. If it's tempo, gotta be careful. But this lantern box will put in and put in work um, if it is tempo. Sunwisp, that kind of looks like tempo for me. Or it could be Titan for some draw. Um, I don't think we need two Lantern Foxes. Killing Edge, that's interesting. Um, so I, I will just come over here, play the Lantern Fox, and call that a turn. Chakra is decent.
Um, nah, this could be a Titan list. Um, can't count anything out yet. Uh, he could play something like a 4-drop. He could play... Um, play Thunderhorn if he wants. What is that? Um, Silverguard would be a decent play as well. Yeah, Silverguard wouldn't be a bad play. Acolyte Sentinel? Okay. You have a Bloods here. Still could be a Titan list. Not gonna count anything out. Um. Don't have any positional altering spells, so I think I'll do this. Um, Chakri Phoenix Fire. It's not a bad play. Just something I might just go for. So I could play something like Owl Beast next turn and try and go off. Because uh, I could play like Owl Beast Bloodborne spell next turn. Um, that'll power this up to. Um, the two three, so he can't do blood tear. I mean, he can do blood tear plus sentinel again, but I just wanted to get it out of uh, another sentinel range. That's what I didn't want to see. Uh, he could tiger, which would kind of stink. But if it is tempo, they're not. They can't really deal with uh, large health with high health minions. Um, so try and getting uh, try to get um, some minions up to like six uh, or excuse me seven health, um, so they can't just like punch. Plus Holy Moly, um, would be pretty nice for me. Um, or if we decide, or if he decides to do a lot of damage to my face here, we can go with four wins. That's not bad either. Um, Iron Cliff could suck. Not gonna lie, Iron Cliff will be quite bad. Um, it's a little early for Spyro, so I'll probably throw that back actually. See what he has. Alright, so it doesn't look like he has an Iron Cliff. If he has another Sentinel plus uh, Blood Gear, I'll be kind of sad. Tempest can also work. Tempest plus uh, Acolyte Regalia. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Second Chakra can be helpful. Uh, we don't need the Spirals. It's early. Could be eating a lot of damage here, so I think I will do this. Get an extra space, which is not bad. So I think moving here is, is correct. Clear this. Um, he can 2-drop Holy and Malate us, um, which is not the worst thing in the world. We play around Sun Bloom if he if happens to have it. Um, we also play around uh, uh, Blood Tear plus Holy Immolation, um, or even 2-drop, because if he has 2-drop, he has to go here and then play his Holy Immolation here. So that's what we were playing around. Um, it was actually quite fortunate that we found... Um, Uh, that we got the two drop movement. If that's a light bender, that actually kind of hurts a little bit. I couldn't play around light bender, unfortunately. Yeah, there. That's what we were playing around. Uh, Holy Malaysian. Uh, the question is, which one does he punch? The Chakri or the? He punches the Owl piece. That's a smart play on his part. Um. To develop a couple more. If he has another holy emulation, I think that's a little bit scary. Get around the chakras. Lantern Fox is not bad.
Hmm. I think I would like to develop another, uh, another Chakri and a Four Winds. That's what I'd like to do. Maybe kill an edge or developing a lantern fox was a better play. Yeah, let's call that a turn. You can kill the second char three for free. Um, but I would like to get those extra threats on there. He still has to deal with one of them. Uh, with the five three. So Tempest won't do it. Um, hmm. She decides to kill that one, which is okay. Blood two? Holy Emulation? Really? It's kind of sad. Alright. Um, so we did play around Holy Emulation, but um, we're taking a little bit of damage here. He's also down to three cards. That's not the worst thing in the world. Dragon uh, is something I don't think we need at the moment. Four wins is nice. So that's what we'll do. We'll play the four wins here. Play our Bloodborne spell. So better just to kill an edge here. Go okay, with this. I think I, I will kill an edge. Hit him for um, 11. I'll uh, turn Tempest, we'll kill this, but um, that's going to be... He still has to deal with the four wins. Aqualite Sentinel, that does it as well. It's pretty unfortunate. It's another Regalia. Eh, kind of hurts. Not gonna lie, that hurts. Juxtaposition. So I think uh, playing this here. Moving in extra space, I think that's better for next turn. If we can draw something like. Uh, Treaty Wing is not the greatest. To be honest here. He's running low on cards, so are we. Roar, he has Iron Cliff. It opts not to hit me, which is good, which is interesting. I think we have to do this. Um, I don't think moving it, uh, we can't replace that. We need this. I don't think we need... I would like to look for something a little bit more. Tana. Draw a card is nice. Play the Katara. Don't want to give him another just in case he has like another holy emulation. I don't want to give him that option. Uh, we do lose to things like Tiger now, which is a little bit unfortunate. But interesting that he's running Iron Cliff in uh, 
in a in a tempo list. It's a little slow. Um, what can you do? Yeah, we listed things like Tiger, so it's Tiger Wars nine. Also, just check Twitter right now, and apparently there's a new reveal. Um, Monolithic Vision. It's a Vitruvian 9 mana spell. Transform your action bar into 6 random Vitruvian cards that cost 4 less. This is, what? I, it's like a. Oh, okay. Spiral. That doesn't even, honestly, that doesn't even break his heal, honestly, which kind of sucks. Play this to see what we get. The backstab? It's not horrible, but we'll move into range of, um, we have to play this to get out of range. Yeah, we have to do this to get out of range. Uh, we're not dead to Roar. We'll be left on one. What is the one card he has? Holy, is it is it Holy Immolation? Really? <laughs> Your third Holy Immolation? Is it really? I have to see. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> that's, uh, that's annoying. Ah, oh, he didn't have any draw the entire game, and he was playing with- I don't know what he was playing, he was playing like a tempo list with, uh, with Iron Cliff, and maybe had Divine Bond, maybe it was a Bond list, but usually Bond lists omit uh, Arclight Regalia, because you don't usually have the space for it, you usually want bigger minions like Iron Cliff, Maid Sworn, uh, Grandmaster Zeta, um, even Elix Stormblade, that man had a weird deck, I have to say. <laughs> I don't know. This is... I don't know. He, he top kicked me, I guess. Kellen Edge is nice. Um, but it's easily dispellable. So I think we'll just... Uh, that's not bad. Chalk raise a little bit early. We'll look up on Oh man, I think... I can't believe we just got top kicked like that. <sighs> That's a no. That's that's frustrating. Um, <laughs> but you know, it is what it is. You know, since the game, uh, since Duelist has become two card draw, um, is that a hard sister and a mana death grip. Uh, of course. Oh, not like this. Feels bad, man. <laughs> Always, always have that as an uh, But on the bright side, he's he's he played two cards there, so I'll get rid of Blood Rage Mask. I don't think it's necessary at the moment, especially against Faye. Um, so I'll just play the Lantern Fox here and a Katara. We have two Mist Dragons, and um, we have another Lantern Fox, so we can get we can get some decent value here. Though I would be inclined to replace one of the Mist Dragons um, to look for some more card draw. Um, we do have a Lantern Fox, um, another one, but I wouldn't be surprised if he had a, like a Chromatic Cold here. Or a Frostburn. That would make me feel bad as well. Yeah, there it is. Um, <laughs> not to worry. It's not the end of the world, I don't think. Got a Phoenix Fire out of it. So let's get rid of this, uh, this track. Four wins is not bad. Uh, I would like to develop the Lantern Fox here. And a Chakra here. Uh, we could BBS um, and do a bunch of plays next turn. Hopefully he doesn't have another <laughs> Frostburn. That would make me kind of sad. Um, Heaven's Clips is nice to have. Uh, it could be useful with this Chakra later on. Um, yeah. 
So what's our play next turn? Four wins, maybe? Four wins, double BBS, if you can take the tile. Or four wins, Miss Dragon, BBS. It's not a bad play. Um, plays it around and Frostburn a little bit better, I guess, if he has the second one. See, if he has Chromatic Cold, that would make me kind of sad. Um, I would rather him use the Chromatic Cold on on the Lantern Fox, because I have Draw already. And he already gave me one Phoenix Fox. What is that? Our sister? Oh, come on. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. Um, he's going to punch it. You have Warbird. Unless you have a 4-drop. You have a 4-drop? You have to have a 4-drop or you wouldn't make that play. Thunderhorn. Alright. Um, probably not die here. I could punch Phoenix Fire it. Terrible. Miss Dragon to kill the uh, Heart Sister. I think that's an acceptable play. I think that's acceptable. We draw. Uh, I don't think we need that, but it... I would like to have options. Another Phoenix Fire. Not the greatest of scenarios, quite honest. Um, he's down to three cards. If I had to guess, that's a Chromatic Hold. Death Grip. That's actually not bad. We get another Phoenix Fire. Um, and he probably knows this, so that's why he's backing off. Uh, but given our hand size now... Um, what is that? Um, probably, my guess would be a Basilisk. So I can't really do much about that. I get rid of the Heft Clips. See, the thing is, if that's Basilisk, it's actually not bad. We'll have to face tank five, which sucks. That is Basilisk. Um, but he's down to two cards. Um, I think we're okay. We'll have to take face tank to five here. Play a BBS. Maybe playing the the four wins more aggressively is is, is more is more optimal. Um, to just to have it in his face and be that much more threatening. Um, draw an Owl Beast, which is nice. Hopefully this doesn't become dispelled, or he has an aspect of the Shimzar. It's coming closer to me, which is interesting. Heart sister, third heart sister. Come on. <laughs> Oh no. This is what I'm talking about. Like, this is the exact same thing as in the last game. My opponent just top kicks answers. Oh man. Ah, that sucks. Oh man. I don't think we need... Uh, Killing Edge could be something that we need to finish the game off, though. Feels bad, man. Um, so we'll do four here. Uh, we don't have another minion, so I, I have to throw away the Killing Edge. <sighs> Feels bad, man. Chromatic Cold. I wouldn't be surprised if he has Chromatic Cold. Frigid Corona. Okay. 
What'd you get? You got the chromatical? Let's see it. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, these last two games. Oh, man. I guess that's, like, to, ex to be expected in gold. <laughs> see? This is what I'm saying! Like, they, they nut draw. Like, oh, man. Like, they have no cards in their hand, and, <sighs> and they top keck. That's what happened last game, and that's what's happening this game. If I lose due to top kicks, I'll probably be uh, one happy un one ha one unhappy individual. He hits me. You're gonna take four, bro. I think you take four. I only took two. Oh, cause I'm fun. Oh, cause it only lasts this turn. I'm sorry. This turn. My B. Do I have to play both of these and double double Phoenix Fire's face? We have the mana to do it. Why not? Smork it up. I mean, honestly, I couldn't have replaced for anything better. Um, maybe a four wins. I doubt he's running something like Tiger. He's probably net decking uh, a walls list, and he just didn't draw any of the walls. I don't know. Uh, this also plays around Frostburn as well. He has two cards in his hand. Um, they're probably double Chromatic Cold. Okay, he gets a, another Frigid Corona. It's probably Chromatic Cold. He probably has two, the last two Chromatic Colds. I would not be surprised. Or, I would not be surprised if he had another Frigid Corona. Um, <laughs> okay. Blue Conjurer, see, like, this is what I'm saying, like, oh man, they're like, they top, they top kick draw, it's like, oh man. Of course. Um, let's draw this, see what we get. If we can move an extra space, that'll be able to put us here, I think. If we can grab like a chromatic hold, that'd be nice. Frostburn. Did we win? I think we won. <laughs> oh my god, thank god. I was not gonna lose the top cax. I mean, granted, I just top kek myself, but I had a full hand all the way up until this turn. So, um, yeah, there was no way I was going to lose to that BS. Not not two games in a row. No way. Um, do I go for a third match? We'll see. See if my opponent will not draw again. Because those last two, those last two games my opponent, like, drew exquisitely. My opponent drew exquisitely. It was, like, insane. Um, they both had, like, no cards, but, okay, we're playing Linear again. Hopefully we have a little bit better of a showing. Um, a little early for four wins, and I don't think I need two scroll bandit. A scroll bandit and a um, uh, but now that we draw Lantern Fox, I think the better play would be to Lantern Fox Katara because we do have a just. Ash right line. That's not indicative of tempo. Um, again, I, I, I keep in mind both the common list, but before we move, we'll replace the Scroll Bandit. I don't think we need both. Because um, if it is Titan, Scroll Bandit it means nothing here. So, I will just play the Lantern Fox and the Katara, call that a turn. We can do something like Juxtaposition and Lantern Fox um, next turn, or we can do Juxtaposition and uh, Kill and Edge. That's not a bad play either. I think playing the Kill and Edge would be, and going face, would be the ideal play. Um, I'm just trying to trade with this lion um, if he lets us. Let's see. Throwback to, uh, I guess, question of the day is what was the original text for Lantern Fox back in beta? Question of the day. Because it definitely, it, I'll just say it wasn't this. Um, Let's see what he does. I'm gonna hit my face. Holy moly. Very interesting. I mean, granted I only get one Phoenix Fire and that's probably what he was probably aiming for. Very interesting. 
Um, I think overall this is the better play. Got another one. Call that a turn. Um, so we know it's not Titan now. So probably uh, that leaves what Bond and Tempo. My guess it would be Tempo. Tempo is pretty uh, popular as of right now. Hmm. So we got a couple plays we can make. Um, it's nice to have the Heaven's Eclipse here. To be honest, it's pretty nice to have the Heaven's Eclipse. Um, though I don't know if we need it. Uh, if this Lantern Fox is able to stick for a little bit longer, um, we might not need this. We might just powerhouse our way through without it. Sun Bloom. So this could be a bond list. Um, Sun Bloom is rather slow in uh, tempo. You usually just run Life Ender. It's a better play if you need the Dispel. Um, could be like an Azure Eye Vine. That would not be surprising. It's my face. That's okay. So I will do this. We'll juxt. Phoenix fire this. Killing edge of this. Um, since he did dispel that, I will need the um, I will need this heaven's eclipse to play next turn, and we'll just hit him. He just did uh, what, ten damage that turn. Maybe bring the guitar <coughs> forward so this lantern fox is a little bit closer. That that was the correct play. Um, I don't know how much it will matter too much. What is that? Ironcliff Guardian. So probably a bond list. If he punches me, that's pretty indicative of him having a uh, little place first, actually. Miss Dragon. Um, okay, I'll play this. Oh, we have lethal, right? Yeah. Um, that's the power of Heaven's Eclipse. Just for some DM. Nice! So it probably looked like a Bond list. Bond would rather run uh, this um, um, Sun Bloom uh, for just more utility, because you're more of like a mid-range, late-game sort of style deck. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> interesting episode, um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there was a reveal today, I just briefly mentioned it, I'll look it over a little bit more in detail. Um, and once the uh, set comes out on the 14th, the new expansion is released on the 14th, I will do an in-depth analysis of the entire expansion, uh, give my thoughts on what potential decks will be um, in play. Also again, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, if you guys have, I will be doing viewer submission decks, um, and I'll be playing them on the channel. Um, I'll be doing that on Thursday or Friday. Um, uh, probably Friday, just to give you guys a little fun. Uh, Thursday will be, um, probably like my own deck, since I have featured all of the generals. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed that I do not have a normal Shaddai. I only have the prismatic one. <laughs> um, uh, cause I never played any Songhai on ladder, really. Um, but yeah. Um, set uh, the the link for your uh, for you can submit your decks will be in the description. Um, if you guys want to do that, um, I really appreciate it, and I'll try and do those um, on Friday. And uh, hopefully, you guys can see your deck on the channel. So yeah, guys, enjoy your Wednesday, enjoy your hump day, and I'll catch you guys later.